Alrighty y'all, uh, Craig with Morris here. It is natural selection day one, just outside of Nelson, BC. The second stop of a three stop tour, masterminded by Travis Rice with the help of Liam Griffin and a whole mess of other people. But uh, we're just in the staging area right now and loading all the sleds, getting all the trucks parked. There's probably about 27, 30 people. Everybody's got sleds, uh, everybody's flying around. And I mean, it's classic day one chaos. You're just trying to figure it out. So uh, it's crazy. We got here up here in the first convoy. So we had to separate all the the, the trucks because uh, it's obviously active logging road so you need a radio so we had to separate and we were in the first one so I got to unload my sled get all set up I'm ready to go uh, but we're kind of watching everybody else unload and it's really fun to just uh, be the peanut gallery you know get inside the competitors heads Good question. Right. Sean White where, where is Sean White <laughs> Okay, let's say, uh, I'm not a big math guy, but let's jump into the numbers here. Visibility, about a two out of 10. Uh, vibes, 12 out of 10. So that evens out to about eight. I'm not good at math, as I mentioned, off the start. What I'm trying to do right now is we got a bunch of pictures and you can kind of see some cliffs and some uh, benches above us. So I'm just trying to line up where those benches are in regards to the photos. Uh, kind of like blind mice right now, we're feeling our way around. But you know what, this is day one, this is hour three. Uh, we're moving a lot of people, so it's gonna be kind of slow. So uh, it's actually an advantage to the riders because we get more time to look at these features and uh, more time to figure out what we really wanna do. So um, yeah, the clouds aren't great, but uh, in the words of Mark Solar, it's all about the community here. But this is gonna be kind of the first home base right here. You'll be shredding lines from the ridge quite a bit above there back down to here. And our goal today is to just familiarize everybody with what's going on. Uh, we'll get a line or two, maybe three. I don't know how much we're going to be able to see. So we'll just try to keep it tight and see what we can see as we go around, feel the snow out. A lot of beautiful machines sitting here. Uh, avalanche safety all done. We're shooting some portraits. We're just kind of doing the housekeeping, you know? Get all that housekeeping done. I think we're going to move up a little bit because there's three kind of sections here and, and the clouds are rising a little bit. You get a better look at the cliffs and uh, kind of the features that you want to ride. Uh, big, big face, lots to do. Um, a lot of talking, a lot of chatting, a lot of hanging. Now that's just big shoots, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, I was telling Bo and Chris that yeah. it's just kind of like, like it's going to a buffet and never have never tried any of the food. So you don't know what to put on your plate. Like there's so many options and everything looks a certain way here. And then you're like over there and you're like, oh, that looks cool. So it's just like, it's very overwhelming. But you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull down that tree right there. Okay, I'm going to go get the clip. Okay, go get that clip though. <laughs> Technically you landed that. There's no spray. <laughs> so this is the third, there's like three areas where you can do your line or whatever. This is the, this is the last one. This one's called Huckleberry. Uh, so we're going to go take a look at it. And as the day has gone on, obviously the uh, clouds have lifted a little bit so you can look at everything. This is the one I'm leaning towards uh, doing my line. Looker's right of the big rock. Is there like a diagonal chute that we can't kind of see? Oh, it might, it might go. I'm not 100% on that. Can you see the shoot from your angle? Totally, a little. Uh, no, you can't see it, but I'm looking at the drone footage. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's all sorts of options in here. You've got like the cliffs and then all these pillows down in the main bowl. So I think this is kind of the spot most of us are getting pretty hyped on. Oh, buddy. Day one wrapped up, kind of broke into three different groups, got into different cats, looked at different terrain, um, and now we're just kind of discussing what everybody's seen, looking at photos and stuff like that. I don't think anybody's super confident in what they want to do, but uh, that's why we have tomorrow. We're getting another scope day, I think, and then you just got to find that find that line and, and just do it over and over again to really, really hammer it home. Be interesting to see how many people do the same thing though. Because there's like those, like that's the beautiful thing about it is the good features are going to get hit, you know? So. We'll see. Uh, it's day two, natural selection. A lot of chatter, a lot of locker room talk out here. As everybody's gearing up their uh, ponies. Obviously I'm on the Skidoo, Expert, Turbo, Summit X, it's the best. 
but yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go up and choose our lines, uh, see what we're gonna do for the rest of the week, because I think tomorrow and the next day are the best weather days, so uh, try and get everything dialed, get where the filmers are gonna be, because uh, it's a lot of learning and a lot of being adaptable. That's a guide, in case you're wondering. It's a riders meeting. Okay, sounds good. So I think what we're talking about, want to discuss this, you know, listen to you guys and girls. We're going to do uh, a line down this way and a line down this way so you can get some eyes. Also so the camera crews can get some eyes on the slope, figure out camera angles. And then uh, Liam is going to give you a uh, staff of independence and you plug that in at the top of your line. And then we're going to kind of know where we're going to want to set up camera crews for that kind of stuff. And then if we can, we can start trying to shoot some stuff this afternoon. And then we'll be all set up for tomorrow to roll in and just kind of start hammering first thing in the morning. Just had a riders meeting now. Um, we're getting a little bit more freedom. We're granted a little bit more access. So we're going to sled up the cat trail, cat track. I'm going to call it cat trail from now on. Um, and then we're going to go look at this face because yesterday we were supposed to look at it. I don't think anybody was really confident with what they saw. And that was because we were moving around in cats. So I think we're gonna get on the sleds, we're gonna be able to stop when we want, take a look at what we want, and then we'll have a much better idea uh, to get these lines dialed. So um, an ambitious plan, yes, but uh, hey, shoot for the stars and you may fall among the moon. I said that wrong. We'll see you later. Me too, actually. I actually did. Uh, we're just kind of taking a look at the lines and this is the best we've seen it, honestly. Like this is the most confident. I'm like, oh, okay, I know exactly where I am. Like there's a bench right there, so. We're, we're slowly uh, educating ourselves. Yeah, I feel like now that you're up here, you see all the stuff. You know yeah, exactly. Like when you're looking from the side, you're like, I don't know. You like, yeah. right yeah. can kind of see um, the, there's a dead tree up there and there's kind of like a landing rolling down it. So I'm gonna actually use um, a little bit outside of the, like the cat track and pump that, probably put like a couple bricks on that and build a jump into that, that landing. Um, or something of that nature because I think I'm going to try and air that and there's a little tag in there and they're going to come into this section here. So we're kind of like right in the middle of the course um, and I think this there's a couple little step downs here but it's going to be really interesting because this is like the big section then the middle section is here and then that bottom section with features is here. So you could get stuck just traversing the whole time. I think it's going to be really interesting to see if somebody can just like go fast you know because it's like one two and three uh, we'll see how that plays out, but uh, I'm excited. I mean, this is going to be so sick. We're finally on course, get to walk around a little bit and maybe pat some things down and uh, tomorrow is Chuck Fest. Your staff, sir. Thank you, sir. I present to you. There we go. All right. Thank you, Liam. <laughs> Got my flag. Nice. A flag for flag. Um, had to go pink, match the jacket. That was in Mikey's rider. If he was going to do this event, he said one thing. I oh, want well, one thing and one thing only. <laughs> Pink flag. No, no fish curry. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go put in our big uh, staffs to tell everybody where we're dropping in. I'm planting mine right here. Uh, we're gonna air off of this little hip into the landing and then uh, try and take something on over there. What? Faster than that. I, I'll do a couple checks tomorrow. I think it'll give me a better idea. Your boy put in work. Uh, and your boy is Ben Webb. Ben Webb, the man behind the lens. Uh, me and him, Yoss, this little takeoff up, little gap jump. Uh, hopefully the landing's good. And this will set up the rest of my line. But um, man, yeah, I just hope it works, you know? This, this is the hardest part is when you're so nervous about something and like, you just want it to go good and I don't know. We tried hard, we put everything we had into it, so hopefully it works, you know? That was a good, really good scope day and super needed. Honestly, I don't think anybody at the start of the day knew what they were doing and after today, everybody's kind of like, we're good to go. Here we go. Uh, this is the day. I think this is gonna be the day of the days. Um, it's supposed to bake out after today, which means the uh, sun's gonna kind of ruin the snow. So we, uh, we have to run the contest today. We're gonna to do the lines today and see how this thing plays out.
There'll be one hero after this, but we'll see.